Ginny and Cuckoo. How does a camera work? Part one: The exposure triangle. Now that we have the basic introduction of photography and its types, let us deep dive and understand how the cameras work. Cameras are an amazing device. It lets us capture moments in time and preserve them for years to come. Have you ever wondered how is it possible for any device to capture an image from real life? To put it in simple words, cameras operate just like our eyes. The diaphragm on the camera resembles the iris on our eyes. We are going to learn more about this in this learning session. Choosing the right gear for your type of photography is the key. To do this right, we first need to understand the different elements that work together to create an amazing picture. This knowledge will be useful when purchasing the photography equipment and accessories. The basic technology that enables all of this is relatively straightforward. A camera is made of three basic elements. First, an optic element, that is the lens. Second is the chemical element, which is the film. However, nowadays we do not really use film cameras. These days, we mainly rely on the digital cameras. And finally, a mechanical element, and that would be the camera body itself. As we shall see, the only trick for photography is to calibrate and combine these elements so that they work in harmony to record clear and recognizable images. In addition to this, the photography is based on three pillars: aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. We will cover these concepts in detail. However, to give you a quick idea, the relationship between aperture Shutter speed and ISO is referred as exposure triangle. The aperture is the size of the lens opening, that is how much will the lens open. The shutter speed is the exposure time in seconds, that is how long the film would be exposed to light, and ISO is the light sensitivity, that is how sensitive your camera sensor is to the light. In this learning session, we will also learn about secondary elements like light, lenses, focus and medium. So with this basic introduction, let's begin our journey to understand how the cameras actually work. Your support will help us spread knowledge. Please subscribe to our channel if you love what we do.